Hey guys, ChimuxL27 here again, but you can call me Chip, and I'm back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be reacting to and reviewing the newest Fate channel, April 21st, 2024, for Fire Emblem Heroes. Um, this Fate channel kind of just came out of nowhere. Um, uh, I have, I don't know what it is, so I have no information. But I guess we'll just hop right into this. Um, cool. Let's see what's up. Oh, this one's intro differently. Uh, I wonder if that means anything. <laughs> that was weird. Um, okay. apologies. You caught me in an unseemly position. I was so anxious for today that I got here bright and early, but the warm sun lulled me straight to sleep. But That's never cool. fear, I'm wide awake now, and I, Faye, have gathered all sorts of exciting news um, for you. Um, GW, well, there's then, a silhouette there, back, and relax, update. And I don't know what's going on. The information in the Fire Emblem Heroes game. It's time for Faye Channel. Very, very nice. Let's get started. Let's see, let's see. We'll this is only like a 10-minute, 8-minute Faye Channel, oh, so, Faye. uh, oh I have no idea what's happening. Uh, for this one, it's not too long. Oh! Is this one of the... Is that... Oh! Loki? Oh, cool! What the fey? Loki... <laughs> what the fey? Um, anyways. Uh, I thought this was, like, one of the new, um... Like, the new people from the, the new book, but... Uh, Mythic Hero Loki. Very cool. Uh, the anime censorship is kind of weird. I wonder if that'll be in the official art. Um, it's, it's funny, I guess, but, um, it's very different than what they normally do. But either way, we'll ignore that for now. Uh, she looks very good, um, in white. and gold, it, it's, she looks really nice. The braid also, very, very pretty. She will make an appearance as a mythic hero? And I'm told she'll be in her true form, dressed in white. But keep those feathers puffed. Loki is known as a god who grants pleasure to mortals and then lures them into chaos. I hope she's not thinking of doing anything too dastardly. At the start of her turn, mythic hero Loki can Ooh. inflict nearby foes with discord and gravity. Um, let's see. Dazzling discord. I start a turn for the closest foes within five spaces of unit and foes within two spaces of those foes. If any foe's res is less than unit's res, inflicts discord on that foe. Uh, nice. Inflicts attack res minus 4 on foe during combat, and foe cannot counterattack. So another buffed uh, Dazzling Staff, but um, pretty cool um, for your high res staff units. Um, and then also Divine Deceit. Uh, yeah. At start of player phase or enemy phase, if any foes in carnal directions of unit have res less than units res plus 5, inflicts gravity on those foes. Nice. Um, at start of player phase or enemy phase, if any foes within three rows or three columns centered on unit have res less than units res plus five, inflicts ploy and exposure on those foes through their next actions. Very nice. At start of, after start of turn effects trigger on player phase or enemy phase, if any foes within three rows or three columns have less than or equal to three bonus effects active, excluding stat bonuses, neutralizes those effects, uh, neutralizes those effects excludes bonus effects being applied at the same time. Um, okay. Um, if foe has any penalty effects active, grants attack res plus 5 to unit during combat. Um, wow, so that, that's pretty good. So definitely you want really high res. Um, and then the neutralizing, like, the bonus effects, that's, that's really helpful. So it can neutralize the guidance effects, or, like, the charge effects, or maybe even the, like, plus 1 movement effects. That's pretty cool. Using her B skill, Dazzling Discord, and her C skill, Divine Deceit. If her HP is at 25% or higher at the start of combat, her weapon skill, Supreme Toke, will increase her attack and resistance. Um, I guess it's pronounced Toke, um, instead of, like, Thook or something. But either way, Supreme Toke, um, enables Kanto 1. I think she's a flyer. It looks like she's a flyer, so that's cool. Um, calculates damage from staff like other weapons. Accelerates special trigger cooldown count minus one, of course. Max cooldown count cannot be reduced below one. At start of turn, if unit's HP is greater than or equal to 25%, grant special cooldown count minus one to unit. Very nice. Um, at start of combat, if unit's HP is greater than or equal to 25%, grants attack res plus X to unit during or to unit. Um, X equals six plus 
of units res at the start of combat. Uh, cool. There's no max value to that, so I guess, um, or it doesn't look like there's a max value. Um, so you can really stack up her res and make pretty good use of that. Um, unit makes guarantee follow-up attack, and unit deals damage equal to 20% of unit's res during combat. So yeah, if you stack up her res like a ton, um, then you can make really good use of that effect. Pretty cool. Plus, her attack and resistance can increase by 20% of her resistance. These stats also increase when she is um, in combat with those okay, that's that's with the negative status or effects. What we already know. Thanks to her A skill, attack resistance catch four, and that C skill. And when her special glitter of light... Um, Glitter of Light, I think, is might already be in the game, but either way. If an assist skill is used, unit special cooldown count does not go down. When special triggers, boost damage by 45% of foes res. Calculates damage uh, from staff after combat damage is added. If this special is triggered during combat, after combat inflicts status on target and foes within two spaces of target, preventing counterattacks through their next actions. So the, the flash effect. I think that was already in the game, but if not, then there you go. Light activates. She prevents her target and nearby foes from counterattacking. Overall, she seems to be pretty good at using very dangerous Loki-like tactics. Don't the, you think? The chibi animation is pretty cool. The summoning event Mythic Heroes Loki begins on April 30th. Very nice. Hmm. Loki seems like she has something to say. Uh huh. Yeah. Say what? Listen to this! If you merge Loki at least once, merged you can take on merged ordeals. Um, Let's take a look at the heroic ordeal of a merged Loki trickster god. Okay. And here it Whoa. is. Whoa! If you clear this heroic ordeal, you can get 600 dragon flowers. And these dragon flowers... That's crazy. It also looks like, uh, if I think my mouse is on screen. Um, yeah, you can see it. Um, the normal mythic Loki... Or heroic ordeals is still there with a 40 um so if i guess if you get that plus one merge you get another 600 which is pretty cool that's pretty cool you can get 600 dragon flowers and these dragon flowers will be specific to loki's movement type of flying yeah she's a flyer okay fey, fey. from now on newly added legendary mythic and emblem heroes will have merged ordeals available if you merge them at least once. Nice! Complete these ordeals, and you can get a reward of 600 dragon flowers of the hero's movement type. Um, that's that's very cool, like, don't get me wrong, but it does require, like, a lot of luck, or, like, a lot of summoning and orb spending. Um, legendary heroes is one thing. Merges for legendaries are... I guess, I don't know if they really have too much... Um, change to Arena, specifically. But I know Mythic Heroes and Emblem Heroes, like, obviously benefit from a lot of merges. Um, Mythic Heroes about, like, the lift in Aether Raids, and Emblem Heroes, if you set them as uh, emblems, uh, they boost their stats accordingly, according to how much, uh, how many merges they have. So, if you merge them at least once, you'll get the benefit either way. Um, but like I said, it does require luck, and um, a lot of orbs, probably. Uh, but definitely, I wish y'all luck. If y'all are summoning for Loki, then I wish y'all the best of luck. Um, uh, I might throw a few orbs here and there, but uh, for for like mythic heroes, I, I just hope I hope I get lucky. But this is this is pretty cool. Um, it's still pretty cool nonetheless. I'm told that merged ordeals may be somewhat challenging. But who doesn't like a good challenge? I'll keep my feathers fluffed and ready to go. And next up... GW. Oh, Golden, Golden Week! Golden Week events! That makes sense. There will be a series of Golden Week events starting on April 23rd. So that must be Here's mainly what this Fae channel is for. First up, the login I guess bonus. also for the merge ordeals. If you log in for 10 days during the active period, you'll get these rewards. Uh, okay. Cool. Next is Choose Your Legends Hero Fests. Each Hero Fest will feature heroes from the first seven Choose Your Legends events. During the Hero Fests, Very nice. the five-star hero initial appearance rate will be set to 8%, including a five-star focus hero initial appearance rate of 5%. 
Pass subscribers can summon a five-star focus hero of their choice after summoning 40 times or more during each summoning event. Up to four times and per event. can do that up to four times per event. Jeez, how many this orbs is, is that? Sparking four times on seven banners? As your allies. That's crazy. Next up, celebratory quests. These quests will be added alongside the Choose Your Legends Hero Fests I mentioned. Complete these quests. Oh, okay, well, that's nice. Get a total of 21 first summon tickets to use on the Choose Your Legends summoning events. So, don't let them pass you by. Three per banner is not too much, but and 21 total is pretty nice. Golden Week events. So exciting. Faye? Faye? Oh, look, he's doing something. What in the world is this? Is Ricker Siege just coming back finally? What is this menacing presence? I think this is the Ricker Siege's background. Loki? Oh. Wait. Uh, yep. Rooker? Oh. Rooker? Oh my. Seems Loki wants to play a little trick on all you summoners. It's been a while since I've seen a Rooker Siege's event. Wow. But it's coming now, and with different rewards from usual. Cool. Wow. You can earn up to 1,000 of each type of dragon flower by playing in the event. Wow, that's pretty Loki nice. Is sure making Golden Week events more exciting with these rewards. Don't miss your chance to get these rewards and power up your heroes. The next Rooker Sieges will start on April 24th. Get pumped. That's cool, that's pretty soon. participate in the first Rooker Sieges we've had in quite some time. Very nice. A thousand dragon flowers per um, movement type is events. pretty nice. Loki sure surprised me when she showed up there, but it was definitely a happy surprise, don't you think? Last but never least, update stuff. The next version update is coming. Hold on to your feathers, and I'll tell you about two things to look forward to in May's update. First, it's two legendary and mythic hero remixes. Cool. Through the remixes, two heroes can gain an abundance of strength. This time, it's Sigurd and Byleth. Here are some details for you summoners. Oh my gosh, legendary Sigurd is uh, First, having Sigurd a remix is going to be... Obtain a new skill. Um, that's going to be pretty harsh um, to have to go against. Um, Holy Knight 2. At start of turn, Grant's unit can move one extra space, um, and if unit initiates combat, reduces damage from foe's first attack during combat by 40% to unit for one turn, boosts special damage by 30% of unit's attack. After combat, if unit if unit special triggered, Grant's attack, defense plus six, unit can move one extra space, um, and if unit initiates combat, reduces damage from foe's first attack during combat by 40% to unit and all allies for one turn. Um, yeah, that's going to be rough to go against. Um, and seal defense four. Okay. Skills. Holy Knight Aura two. After combat in which he activates his special, Holy Knight he Aura can increase two? his and his allies' attack, defense, and movement. Sigurd will also obtain seal defense four. Next, Alrighty. Byleth. He will obtain a new skill. Uh, Sublime Heaven two. At start of turn, if unit special cooldown count is at its maximum value, you grant special cooldown count minus one to unit. Um, boost damage, boost special damage by 30% of unit's attack. If in combat against a dragon foe or beast foe, boost special damage by 60% instead of 30%. When special triggers neutralizes, reduce damage by X percent effects from non-special skills. And then attack speed oath four. Um, pretty nice. Uh, pretty strong. Sublime Heaven two. His special will be easier to activate, and he'll do more damage to dragon and beast foes. Byleth will time. also obtain attack speed oath 4. Now, let's talk weekly revivals. Alright. Until now, only two weekly revivals were held each week. But, starting with the update, there will be three Ooh. each week. That's With nice. more summoning events, you can expect to see your favorite heroes in weekly revivals even sooner than before. That's pretty nice. Is, is that it? That's all for today. Yeah, that's it. Okay. With all the dragon flowers I'll be able to get from events and merged ordeals, I think my heroes will be all powered up in no time. Wow. I managed 
managed to get through all that without falling asleep. But now... Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, this fake channel wasn't too insane. Um, but it wasn't that bad. I feel like it... There have been worse ones, or there have definitely been better ones. Um, Golden Week is always really nice. Um, so overall, obviously, uh, Mythic Loki. Um, very, very cool. Very good fodder. A very cool thing with the, um, where are they? The merged ordeals. That's a cool new thing that's getting added. Um, like I said, uh, Mythic Heroes and Emblem Heroes do benefit from being from getting merges. Um, but I hope y'all don't, like put yourselves out financially just to get that plus one. Um, I wish you all the best of luck when you get, when, if you attempt to get that merged um, version. Um, but then, like, what, what am I saying? But then also the, where is it? The Rooker Sieges coming back, um, giving event rewards of a thousand dragon flowers anyway. Um, granted, a thousand and six hundred is pretty nice, um, but the the thousand that we get for free basically or i guess if you do this event um are definitely still there they're still worth it um if you don't have enough orbs to shell out for two loki merges then um this is still a good reward nonetheless um and then you update stuff for the remix um pretty small pay channel overall a uh, cool new thing i guess the um where were they? The the Golden Week stuff is pretty nice as well. Um, and then... Where is it? All the... Um, oh, no, it's down here, right? Yeah, the three types each week for the um, the weekly revival summons. Um, yeah, so this, um, this Fate channel was pretty nice. It wasn't too crazy. But let me know what you all thought about it in the comments. I would very much appreciate it. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for the video, guys. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. But until then, goodbye.